Here is a quick guide to opening and importing files into Affinity Designer. So first, let's try the more traditional approach of going to File and Open. This will give us a File Open dialog, and here it will list all of the native Affinity Designer documents, as well as all of the formats that Affinity Designer can import, for example, Illustrator files, PDF, JPEG, PNG, etc. So I will choose an AF Design document and click Open, and there is our open document. So we can also save straight back out to the document format. So if I make a, a couple of changes here by turning off these layers, I can then go to File and Save. If I want to save a copy of the document, I can always choose Save As as well. So I'll choose Save, then I'll go to File and Close. So, we also have a slightly more intuitive approach, which is the drag-drop method. If I move out to Finder or Explorer on Windows, I can click-drag that AF Design document and offer it to Affinity Designer. So notice my cursor changes. I now have a green plus icon, which means I can simply release the mouse button and the document will open. Okay, so I will just briefly cover PDF import and export as well. So let's go to File, Open, and here I'll choose a PDF document and click Open. So we have a few options here. If you know the absolute DPI value that your original document was set to, you can set it here. Otherwise, you can just leave it on Estimate. The same goes for color space. For example, if you know your PDF was exported as CMYK, you can mandate that here but it's okay just to leave it as estimated as well. Now also we have missing fonts down here. So the font Open Sans was used in the original PDF export and we don't have that on this particular computer. So we can replace it with an alternative font. So for the Open Sans bold, I will replace it with another font from the list here and then choose Open. OK, and then if I just select this text, we can see it's already replaced the font to my chosen replacement. So there we go, just a quick look at importing files into Affinity Designer.